Hello, friends, and thank you as always for visiting the Legend Sports Universe YouTube channel, Legend Sports Universe, where legends play forever. We come to you live from Lambeau Field, where the New Orleans Saints come to visit the 2-0 Green Bay Packers, Drew Brees, Brett Favre, a matchup of fantastic quarterbacks here at Lambeau. Aaron Jones, as you saw, went over 100 yards a year ago, filling in for the injured Jim Taylor. He'll miss at least one more week for the Packers, who will try to get by without their main running back. But Brett Favre is the story here in Green Bay. Saints and Packers ready to go from Lambeau. Sean Payton coaches the Saints. Mike Holmgren coaches the Packers. I know they don't look like them. Blame Madden and not being able to edit the coaches' faces. But the playbooks, based off of the Action PC game plan playbooks that I now customly created for Madden based on that, are based on those coaching histories. So that's how we'll get started here. Saints and Packers ready to roll. The Saints will kick off. And very quickly, if you are new to the FSFL here in this week three matchup, first of all, most importantly, thank you for tuning in. The FSFL is in Franchise Stars League with a twist each franchise, 130 players in a master pool, 50 players taken at random for year one. The remaining players will enter in future draft classes. So this will be a full-fledged career mode, Legends League start off here we'll go and we'll get things to the proper camera view first of all so that we can all watch this game in broadcast mode again to get the game to use the custom playbooks i can't just do the quick sim method because it doesn't allow you to uh assign custom playbooks to two teams in that mode because you can only control one team in that uh in that method to get to the quick sim where you can just kind of sit back and watch everything so it'll look like i'm controlling things i'm i've got a system here um a spreadsheet in front of me in my uh, on my laptop that makes me call the plays based on the play scripts set up from those custom playbooks as aaron jones takes that first carry not much doing there Picks up a yard, it'll be second and nine. March on Lattimore comes up for the Saints. Give that tackle. That will set us up with a second and nine. Again, the custom playbooks minimize big plays a bit, though they do still occur. I call plays with three seconds left on the play clock, which gets us a terrible slip up. Ah! Um. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get us to the proper number of plays called in the course of a game. Uh, that's funny. That tongue, that little slip of the tongue there makes me think of uh, there was an announcer, Al Troutwood, who used to call Knicks games. And um, he said that uh, Amari Stoudemire, this is going back a ways, was missing a game with a bulging dick rather than a bulging disc. And clearly the best moment of Al Troutwick's career. <laughs> Favre completes the pass there. Just a little bit shy of the marker, though. Good tackle there. He hits Chamora. But the spot is short. It's fourth and inches. And the Packers are going to have to punt. The one time you will see me actually control players in this game is I do have to control the kicking game using this approach. which is admittedly not ideal because the kicking game is a little bit too easy to control, particularly with respect to field goals. Um, I don't control the returns. I just control the punts. But um, it's kind of, oh, you almost have to try to miss field goals in Madden. You see Drew Brees' numbers so far on the year, 37 of 58, 475, three touchdowns and a pick as the Saints take over for their first possession of the ball game. First and 10 from their 36. Peyton will start freeze off in the shotgun. Drops back, quick pass. He hits George Rogers out of the backfield, and George Rogers has some room. George Rogers is going to go. First play from scrimmage. George Rogers out of the backfield. Runs a little wheel route. Breeze throws a perfect pass over the linebacker, and the Saints, one play in, 
from scrimmage have the lead here over the Packers. George Rogers finds open ground, and Breeze lays it in there beautifully, and the crowd at Lambeau has been silenced less than two and a half minutes in. So we just talked about, of course, this is the way it goes, you know. Talked about, you know, the custom playbooks have kind of minimized, you know, lessen the big plays, because Madden, as a general rule, is geared towards big, impactful plays. It's just the nature of the Madden game engine. Um, so it's been a fight to kind of try to tamp that down a little bit. You know, the I've, I've designed the FSFL to try to play a little bit more like late 80s, early 90s football. I want completion percentages in the 50s, mid to upper 50s, low 60s maybe, as opposed to 70%, like you see around now. Um, but, so getting adjusting playbooks to be accurate while still having those big play frequencies not happen as much as as taken a bit of time and it is still a work in progress but we don't mind the occasional big play but what happens with the default man is you end up with you know eight or nine ten plays a game that have that big you know 60 yard 60 yard pass there as pat swilling breaks through Picks up a sack for the Saints. Down goes Favre, who eats it back at his own 15. Nobody picks up Swilling there. So Favre is brought down. And that'll bring up a second and 19. So certainly not the start that the Packers were hoping for here. Favre starts out under center. I formation. And off. Aaron Jones up the middle, not much doing there. He'll pick up three, but it'll still be a very long third and 16. Saints loaded up in the box. And motion, they may not get this play off, and they don't. Motion started a little bit too late. And that's going to set the Packers back five yards. So a pretty brutal first four minutes here for Green Bay. Still third, down. third and 21 coming up from the 14th. Again, this whole week in terms of game schedule has had us taking a look at the undefeated teams. Already seen the Colts beat the Ravens. Colts improved to 3-0. The Ravens took their first loss of the season. The Bills went into D.C. and took down the Redskins to stay at 3-0. Packers play it safe here. They go on the draw to Aaron Jones, but the Saints blew that play up. Myers with the tackle. It'll be 4th and 20. And the punting unit will come on once again. Bucky Scribner comes on for the Packers. So the Saints, already up 7-0, will have terrific field position as they take over here, still with 10 minutes left in the opening quarter. Reggie Bush feels the punt. He'll be back on his side of the 50. Saints will open up from the 47-yard line. So Breeze only needed one yard to get them into the end zone last time. Got to imagine it'll take a little bit more effort than that this time around. And the shotgun has got Rodgers back there with him. Drops back. Breeze looking. He hits it to Rodgers, but a much different result this time. Just a four-yard pickup after the 64-yard touchdown strike on the opening drive. That'll bring up a second and six. And Sean Payton keeping Breeze in the shotgun at the moment. And off this, Rodgers with the carry. Nothing too much doing there. Picks up three. It'll be third and three from the Green Bay 46 yard line. It's again, and the shotgun. Snap the lead draw, Rodgers gets around one tackler but is hit before the line, he didn't get there. Nice job by Ellis to come up for the stop. It'll be fourth and one from the 43. You're the Saints, you could go for it here, but I think this is a situation this early in the game where you're going to punt, even if the game says to go for it. Yeah, the game says to punt here, so we will do that. 
So Morstead's going to try to angle this one out to the side for sure. You don't want Herb Adderley, who's back there deep, to get an opportunity at returning this on you. And it goes into the end zone. Morstead not able to cough and corner it. And the Packers will start out from their 20. So Favre and company go back to work here. Set up in the I formation. Again, Jim Taylor out, still out for another week. Packers also without Bubba Franks. Bubba Franks out for another two weeks with an ankle injury. Here's a handoff to Aaron Jones. He's stopped. Five carries, only eight yards so far for Jones. Dirt Winston comes up for the tackle. And it'll be second and eight. Saints at least showing blitz here at the moment. Barb drops, looks, slant complete. He's got Lofton. Out across the 30 to the 31. Chains will move. It's a first down. Farm zips that one in there. Moves the sticks, gets back under center. Here is we're inside seven minutes left in the opening quarter. Play action. Farm rolls to his left, looks complete. Good job there. That's Tamora out around midfield. They mark him right at the 50. Second catch for Tamora. And the Packers have a little something brewing here. Moore gets into space out near the sideline. Finds the gap, wrestle to the ground there. Solid open field tackle. The sticks move again, first and ten. Tight set up here for the Packers. And off Brockington shakes the first tackle with several more Saints there to bring him down. Johnson will get credit for the, credit for the stop there. No game. It'll be second and ten. Once again, the I formation. And off this time, it's Jones. Jones gets a good block, pops it outside. He's got some room down inside the 40, inside the 35. They'll spot Jones down at the 30. Nice run there from Aaron Jones. His first run of significance. And the Packers continue to drive it. First and 10 from the New Orleans 30 as the Packers try to get level here in quarter number one. Farvin the shotgun. Delayed handoff, nothing doing there. Grant's first carry of the game. Not sure that was designed to be a delayed handoff. Snap was a little bit high. Favre reels it in. Kurt Winston comes up on the stop. Grant loses a yard. It'll be second and 11. Favre drops back into the shotgun here. Looks, pass over the middle, complete. He's got Devontae Adams down inside the 25. It'll be third and three, spotted at the 23. Eight-yard pickup on the little crossing route there. Third and three coming up. Far four of four so far. They'll go into the shotgun here. Stands in, looks, another quick little slant route to Adams from the other side. First down, moves the sticks again, down to the 18. Good drive being put together here by Green Bay. Down inside the three-minute mark, left here in quarter number one. And off. Pick up of a couple, another carry for Jones, down to the 16. It will be second and eight. Let's see how heavy a load Jones carries in this one. Again, Jones gets his share of carries when Taylor is in the lineup. He certainly give the ball to Grant and give the ball to John Brockington as well, but Jones is going to carry the load in this game for Green Bay. Favre stands in. He looks. Pressure. He fires incomplete. Favre had to get rid of that one. Good coverage by the Saints. It'll be third and eight. From 
the 16th. Barb in the shotgun. Everybody loaded low. Oh, and they go with the draw. The handoff to Jones up the middle. He gets a chunk, but he doesn't get enough. But it'll be fourth and three. Another tackle for Dirt Winston. And Ryan Longwell will come on for the field goal attempt. So the way the Packers are moving the ball there, the Saints are going to have to consider this a win. So in limiting myself, basically I won't control that blue arch that you see. I won't move it from side to side. Um, so I basically just kick just using the meter, but this is a, a chip shot close and in the middle of the field. So Longwell splits the uprights and puts it through. So the Packers are on the board here at Lambeau. It's 7-3 New Orleans, a minute nine seconds. Left in quarter number one. Long well back to kick. Reggie Bush takes it about the five. Out across the 20. I like kickoff returns, so I have set it in the sliders to take a little bit of power off the kickoffs that we have a few more kickoff returns because I think kickoffs are a fun play. Easy for me to say when I don't have to worry about you know, the repercussions of concussions and such. <laughs> Freeze in the shotgun as the Saints start from their point. In the pocket, swings it out wide. He's got Rodgers out in the flat, but a nice open field tackle there by Ellis. Brings him down. It's a loss of a yard. It'll be second and 11. Clock kicking down inside the final 30 seconds. Shotgun. And off. Looks like that's McAllister. Only picks up a yard. It'll be third and nine. And that will take us to the end of this first quarter. run out there as the team switch sides. So the first comes to a rapid 7-3 New Orleans. Packers kind of spit the bit a bit in the first five or so minutes of this game. Gave up a long touchdown pass on New Orleans first play from scrimmage after their own drive had petered out. Now Green Bay seems to have found their legs a little bit. Third and nine as they try to force a punt from the Saints here. Brees in the shotgun, drops back, pressure up the middle, and down goes Drew Brees. Brown gets in for the stop. Sack back at the 11. Robert Brown brings Brees down. First sack. Nothing Brees could do there. They had all pressure coming up the middle. Crowd of Lambeau on their feet, and the Saints will have to punt. Morstead standing in his own end zone to get the kickoff. Good leg, though, and he unloads this one. Taken by Adderley, back inside his own 35. He'll get it out across the 40, though. Good return there from Adderley. Picks up about nine, I'd say, on the return. Green Bay will start off from there, 44, as we just get underway here in quarter number two. Favre and Breeze figure to be two of the better quarterbacks in the league. Favre here in the shotgun. He drops, looks, pass complete to Jones out of the backfield around midfield. Pick up of six, it will be second and four. Favre now six of seven. Favre drops again. Looks, dumps it. Jones out of the backfield again. Another short pass there. Goes to the safety down. So far, the Saints defensive backs not allowing too much, not allowing the Packers to get down the field. But Favre has been accurate on those short passes so far. 
third and two coming up from the New Orleans 48. Lofton up top. Jones the lone setback. He gets it. Tries to get off tackle. Does not get to the line though. Nice tackle there. On Johnson comes up for the stop. Looked like he had a seam and then Johnson filled it and filled it with authority. So now we get the fourth and one from the 47. The Packers are going to punt, try to pin the Saints deep here. Reggie Bush will go back. Bucky Scribner is going to try to pin the Saints deep in their own territory. Angle punt inside the 10 and it bounces into the end zone. So Scribner angled it but didn't get the bounce that he wanted. The Saints will take over from their 20. With 12.02 left in the first half. And off Rodgers. Pick up a four. Out to the 24. It'll be second and six. He's in the shotgun. Another handoff. Rodgers again. Rodgers has the first down and more. Out to about the 35. Four carries for 22 yards for Rodgers. He's been put to work. He's also got three receptions in this game so far. Including the lone touchdown. He's back into the shotgun. Looks like Rodgers is out of the game at the moment. Mark Ingram gets a carry, and Ingram is going to get a good chunk of yards there. Sorry, that was Deuce McAllister. I thought it was Ingram. It was 22, not 26. And Ellis with the stop, but McAllister gets out to the midfield stripe. Chains will move for New Orleans again. First and 10 as we get down inside the 10-minute mark. These drops. Short drop. Fires incomplete. He's looking for a call there. But no such luck. That graphic is hopelessly blown up. Thought there might have been a flag call there, but nothing doing. Game calls a very few penalties, particularly in this mode. Going to playing it the way I'm playing it now. It's even fewer penalties than I would think. Breeze in the shotgun. Looks back. Breeze airs it out. Deep and it's overthrown and it's intercepted. Intercepted by the Packers and there's some room on this return. Brought back into New Orleans territory. Johnny Gray with the interception. Brings it back to the New Orleans 47. Breeze airs it out but overshoots his man. And Johnny Gray with the pick. And the Packers now will have the ball in terrific field position to try to go and claim the lead. Well overthrown, and Gray, roaming over there from safety, gets the interception. So now Favre will get to go to work, starting in New Orleans territory. First turnover of the game. Play action. Far over the middle. Complete. Looking for Chamora. Missed the mark. He's second and ten. Green Bay's been pretty balanced so far. Eleven carries, nine passes. Far drops again. Looks to the left-hand side, complete. Lofton spins away from a tackle, and James Lofton has some room. He's going to go. Touchdown, James Lofton. So Lofton caught that, and as soon as he received it, he spun. He knew exactly where the defender was. Beautiful job by James Lofton. He and Favre have built up quite a rapport early. Look at him spin right out of that tackle. 
So a 47-yard strike far to loft it. And the Packers will come on for the extra point, trying to claim a 10-7 lead. Well, puts it through. And they have that 10 7 lead. 9 29 left in the half. Far to Lofton. So both touchdowns have been of the longer variety. 64 yards from Breeze to George Rogers on a wheel route out of the backfield. And then far there hit Lofton on what should have been a medium game play, but Lofton spun out of the tackle. And nothing but daylight ahead of them. So the Saints start off from their 21. And off Rodgers. Tries to get to the outside. Jukes a man. Picks up a good block. Rodgers turns that into a five-yard pickup. Five carries for 27 yards. So far for Rodgers. Done. Handoff. Callister. He is hit hard there. Nothing doing. Breeze not happy about something. Ray Nitschke, the first guy to get to him. It'll be third and six. Breeze in the shotgun. He does have two backs back there with him. Pressure comes, quick release, good throw there. Hits Danny Abramowitz for the pickup and the first down out to the 33. A set of downs, first and 10. Quick pass there, complete. It's a shorty. Pick up a five. He's now 5 of 7. Quinn Early, his first reception of the game there for the 5-yard pickup. Down inside the 7-minute mark, 2nd and 5 for New Orleans. And the Saints come in at 1-1, one and one, the Packers 2-0. and up. Packers also won the preseason tournament that you can see here on the channel. Hand off there, Deuce McAllister with a good run. Out to the 43, moves the chains again. The Sean Payton Saints running the ball pretty heavily here so far. Payton likes to throw. Right now, the ground game is being effective. A little throw here. Breeze stands in, passes over the middle. That's complete. First down. It's over the middle to Henry Childs. His first catch of the game. That's a 12-yard pickup. Sticks move again. He's back in the shotgun. Single setback is Rodgers. He takes the snap and drops. Looks over the middle. Complete. Down inside the 25. Reese fires that one in there. Lance Moore with the reception. That's a 20-yard pickup. And the Saints, in the words of the great Hank Stram, matriculating the ball down the field here at Lambeau. Will get us inside the five-minute mark. First and 10 from the Green Bay 25. And off Rodgers. Rodgers close to the 20. He's pulled down. Pick up a four as the clock continues to roll. No clock concerns, of course, at this point. Both sides having all three of their timeouts remaining. High formation, Breeze under center for what seems like it's been a rare instance during the course of this game. Pitch to the right, Rodgers tries to get outside. He's got the first down and more. Rodgers turns the corner and he's in. Touchdown, George Rodgers. 
his second of the game, and the Saints get right down the field. A beautiful drive there. And George Rogers having himself a very strong first half here at Lambeau. They pitched it wide. Rogers turned the corner, and nobody was able to get an angle on him. Doug Robinson hit him, but not until the goal line, and Rogers was able to pull his way in. On comes Cesaro for the extra point. Kick is up. And good. Nine plays, 78 yards, and 537. A fine drive there by the Saints. Now here comes the kickoff. 348 remaining in this first half. Taken by Harris at the 5. Out across the 20. To about the 25. And that's where the Packers will take over. They see James Lofton. Two carry, two receptions rather. 57 yards and a touchdown. The touchdown with 47 yard reception. So certainly don't expect Fresh Favre to go meekly here. Late in this first half. Plenty of time to get down the field. They're going to run their offense. That starts with a run. It's Aaron Jones up the middle. Picked up a three. Ten carries, 38 yards to this point for Jones. In the I formation again, Lofton and Devontae Adams both set up high. And off to come to the near side, though. Jones gets to the outside, and he's got some room. Out across the 40, out across the 45, down in New Orleans territory. Nice run there for Aaron Jones. So both the offenses seem to be having a little bit of rhythm here. Down inside the three-minute mark. now goes into the shotgun. Drops back, he looks. Short pass out of the backfield, incomplete. Jarred loose by Johnson. It'll be second and ten. Two thirty-one remaining in this first half. And in motion. Oh, go with a little bit of a little short touch pass there to Max McGee. First time we've called McGee's name. Technically, that's a pass, even though it looks more like a handoff. It's a little three-yard reception. The Holmgren tries to get a little tricky. Saints don't really bite on it too much, though. That's going to get us to the two-minute warning. 14-10 New Orleans on an overcast day here at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Trips to the top. Chamora set off the line on the near side for Green Bay. Jones blown setback. Play action. They fake the draw. Favre goes to pass, and it collapses around him, and down he goes. So Favre, I think it was wise that he held on to that one. Something bad could have happened there if he had tried to unload that ball. So instead, Green Bay will simply live to fight another day. Favre takes the set. And now Scribner is going to try to punt it. Angle to the side. Bush is actually going to take it. From the 10 out across the 15. Both sides do still have all three timeouts. They see Rodgers. Seven carries for 51 yards and a score. He's also got three receptions for a score as well. Fine first half for George Rogers, accounting for both New Orleans touchdowns. Brees in the shotgun, trips to the top. He's got a receiver down low here in a four-wide set. Brees drops back, looks down the right-hand side. Broken up. Leroy Butler gets there. Brees looking for a big shot down the sideline, but Butler is there to break it up, and it'll be second and ten.
use again in the shotgun. So the Saints seem like they're going to play this aggressively. They fake the draw, and now he throws, and it's incomplete. So now it's third and ten. And, of course, the danger of playing it like this is that if you go three and out, the Packers will get the ball back with three timeouts in very good field position. They decide to at least force the Packers basically to take a timeout there. Hand off to McAllister. Nothing doing. Green Bay will burn a timeout. In addition to the kicking, I have to handle the timeout calls also. So I do try to try to be on top of that and be a little intelligent in my in my approach as far as those go. Herb Adderley is back. Morstead try to keep Adderley from being able to get a good return off on this one. That one is angled towards the sideline. Adderley will field it around the 30. He'll have a little bit of room though. Out across the 40, out across the 45. Nice return by Adderley. He's spotted at the 48. There you see Aaron Jones. Jones averaging five yards a carry on the season. 38 carries for 202 yards. Again, he's been the backup he kind of is the secondary guy for Jim Taylor. But Taylor is out injured. Jones. Gets the bulk of the carries here today. From the 48. Barb drops. Looks. Swings it wide. Caught along the sideline by Lofton. Gets out of bounds. Five-yard pickup. Gotta go. Outside the expected play script, because I do have a limit on it won't let me call the same play within like five uh five plays, just so you don't kind of go burning money plays and stuff like that. Anyway, that one incomplete along the sideline, it's third and five. Now, Packers do need something to at least try to get in the field goal range. Really, they'll need a first down to have any shot of points. And there's a booth review coming here. Play is under review. They're going to review whether that was actually a catch. Lofton tried to keep his feet in bounds. Right foot, that left foot may have dragged. Lofton may have been able, and he did. Right at the marker, so it becomes a first down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So a big one there for the Packers. Now it's first and ten from the 41. Pass over the middle is complete. Max McGee down inside the 25. Packers run the no huddle. Far looks left hand side incomplete. Often popped as the ball got there. Second and 10, 14 seconds left. The Packers do have two timeouts. It means they can run something in the middle of the field here. Call a timeout and then still have time for possibly another shot at the end zone. Second and 10 from the 22. Far drops. Pressure coming. He floats that one and kind of airmailed that one out of bounds. Just to avoid the sack there. Third and ten. Coming up ten seconds left. Longwell kicking into a net. On the sideline for Green Bay. Barb drops back. Just swing this one out wide. He overthrows his man. And it's incomplete. So... They don't go for the end zone there. Favre didn't like what he saw. Now instead, it's going to be a 39-yard field goal attempt for Ryan Longwell. He is dead down the center of the field. The snap, the kick is up. It's almost blocked. And Longwell gets it through. 
pressure from the edge. Thomas almost got that ball. But Longwell puts it through from 39 yards out and with two ticks left on the clock. The Packers will kick off for what should bring us to an end of the first half. Reggie Bush is deep. He'll take it from around the four. Out across the 20. Down goes Bush. And that will bring the first half to a close. So we got a good one going here at Lambeau. George Rogers, a pair of touchdowns for the Saints. James Lofton, a score for the Packers with two Ryan Longwell field goals. We will head into the tunnel. 14-13 New Orleans. This doesn't do anything because I haven't seen the other games yet. So we really won't get any information from that. So we're just going to go and get out of that. Screen because it serves no purpose. So the Saints will receive to open up the second half. Longwell will kick off a bit of a crosswind coming. Nothing huge. It's only six miles an hour. Bush receives. Here's the return out across the 20. Good coverage again from the Packers. Drew Brees will get to work. 14-13 New Orleans. We got a good one going here. Teams have, both teams have been pretty balanced in their attacks. May see things open up. We'll see. Here's Rodgers. Rodgers, good run out past the 25. Pick up of eight. Rodgers now eight carries for 59 yards in this one. Saints have gotten their secondary backs involved a little bit. At least McAllister. Actually, I'm not sure if Mark Ingram has carried the ball yet. At all. Play action. Brees swings it. Short pass there. Henry Childs reels it in for the first down. Brees now 8 of 12. The first down out of bounds at the 34. Brees slowly back pedals into the shotgun. Pulls out the signals. Off back. Pass there is complete. Lance Moore reels that one in just shy of midfield. It's brought down at the 49. Moore and Jesse Whittington exchanging unpleasantries. After that one, good pop by Whittington, but Moore holds on. He's once again in the shotgun. Low snap, Breeze handles it. Looks over the middle. Complete. Nice diving grab by Moore. Down to the Green Bay 35. His third catch of the game. Second of the drive. And the Saints will move the sticks again. Rodgers the lone setback. Rips down here on the near side. Hand off to Rodgers. Rodgers doesn't have anything in the middle. Tries to pop it outside. Good job by Rodgers to pull ahead and turn nothing into something there. Even if it's a small something. Pick up a three. It'll be second and seven. Matthews looks ready for the blitz here. If not, he is certainly selling the fake. Blitz is picked up on the outside, but Ray Nitschke blows right through the middle, and Mark Ingram gets his first carry, only for Nitschke to blow him up, coming up the middle. So now it's third and nine from the 35. Zaro not a great leg, so this field goal from this spot would push him a bit. Bree is under pressure, and that option won't be a concern. Nick Barnett gets through the Packers' second sack of the game. Down goes Breeze back at the 45. That will knock them out of field goal range. 
Nitschke falls on top of Breeze afterward to add insult to injury. She looks like he fell more on Barnett there. But regardless, the Packers get Breeze down. With the sack. So now, Morstead will try to pin. The punting meter is so much harder to control than the field goal meter. I wish the field goal meter was a little bit more difficult. That, however, is a beautiful punt by Morstead. The Packers will start from their one. You can't do it much better than that. So Favre and company, 99 yards of road ahead of them. 10-15 left here in the third. That is about as close to the goal line as it gets. Packers are going to have to be careful here. And off Jones, up the middle. Tries to fight for a little bit of room. He may have gotten a yard, if that. Dirt Winston blows him up. It'll be second and nine. At this point, if you're the Packers, you're just trying to make sure you don't give up the safety. And off Jones. Finds a little bit of room. He's got a first down and more. Jones out across the 15. Nice run from Aaron Jones. Out to the 18. He's got 82 yards on the ground now in this one. And the Packers can breathe a little bit. Gets down inside the nine-minute mark. Favre drops. He's looking. Short pass there towards the sidelines. Complete to Devontae Adams. It's a short pass. No pickup of three. Adams' is third reception of the game. It'll be second and seven. From the 21, handoff Jones up the middle. The Saints blow that one up. Nothing doing there. Jones barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Grant, the first man in on the tackle, and it'll be third and seven. Barb takes the snap, drops, look. Man gets through, and down goes Barb. Wayne Martin gets through. It's the Saints' second sack of the game. I'm sorry, the Saints' third sack of the game. And down goes Favre. Back at his 11. Wayne Martin, the terrific rusher, gets through. Favre unable to get rid of that one. He tried to spin out of it, but Martin, too strong, gets Favre down to the ground. And the Packers will have to punt. So on comes Scribner. The Saints are going to get good field position. Scribner will try to limit that as best he can. Punt here taking about their own 45. Bush gets it to about midfield, and that's where the Saints will take over. He is getting some last-minute instructions from Coach Sean Payton before heading back out onto the field. 6.53 left here in the third. We got a good one at Lambeau. 14-13. Saints over the Packers. And off there's Rodgers. Rodgers inside the 45, inside the 40. Good run for Rodgers. Down to the 38. Neither team has been very effective in stopping the run today. He's in the shotgun. Looks, stands in. Breeze hit as he throws, but it's complete. Breeze now 11 of 15 for 163. He's had a touchdown and an interception. That will move things down to the 22. Four receivers, though it's a tight setup. Rodgers the lone setback. 
And in motion, they give it to Abramowitz. It's a reverse, and Abramowitz is going to go in. Touchdown, Danny Abramowitz. Slick play call there by the Saints. Abramowitz takes the handoff. Gets out wide, and nobody is there. And Abramowitz runs it in, and the Saints with the opportunity here to go up eight. I doubt they're going to take the two-point conversion, and they won't, because that would be silly. So they'll go for the extra point, trying to make it a 21-13 game. Sorrow comes on. Kick is up and good. Three plays, 51 yards in a minute and a half. Again, the punt from Morstead sets up great field position. Sack. They would actually gotten out of that trouble, but then they took the sack. Saints got the good field position and went right into the end zone. Now Zaro come on for the kick. 523 left in the third. Saints up by 8, 21-13. Angle to the side. Harris takes it at the 6. Out across the 20, out across the 25. He'll get to the 27. That's where Favre and the Packers will take over. But Green Bay looking to stay unbeaten. New Orleans has other plans. Favre under center. And off. Here's Brockington. Not much doing there. Only the second carry for Brockington. He doesn't have a yard to show for it. And off Jones. Nothing doing there. That one is blowing up. Vaughn Johnson with the stop. That's his fifth solo tackle of the game. And it's third and 12. So the Saints... Right now, been solving a bit of what the Packers have been doing here in this third quarter. Third and 12, Favre drops back. Looking, looking, hit as he throws. That's going to be incomplete. And Favre pasted the dirt there. Wayne Martin gets into his face again. And now Martin and Favre exchanging some, some words there after that hit. So the Packers go three and out, and it has kind of come quietly down on the Packers. Here's Bush. Takes the punt from the 32. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 39. He'll take seven. There's George Rogers. Ten carries for 75 yards and a score. Calmed him down a bit in the second half, but a big first half for Rogers. As the Saints in a good way here. 350 left in the third. Saints start this drive from their 39. And off there's Rodgers. Tries to get to the outside and cuts it back in. He's out across the 45 to the 46. Eight yard pickup from George Rodgers. Second and two coming up. There's the total yards 266 to 195 in favor of the Saints at this point. Shotgun, throw a play, and that one was gobbled up. Ray Nitschke slams George Rogers to the ground hard. Big stop there from Nitschke. Now it'll be third and three. McAllister, the lone setback. They give it to McAllister. Tries to pop it to the outside. He's got some room. Deuce, I'm sorry, that's Mark Ingram. Ingram was going to go up the middle. That hole closed up. Ingram pops it to the outside, takes it to the house. And the Saints, with their second big play touchdown of the game, have now made this a two-score game. So Mark Ingram went to go up the middle. Saw nothing, popped it out wide, and no Packers were in front of him. 
So Ingram takes it to the house, a big breakdown there defensively for Green Bay. And Ingram, who had only had a couple of carries before that and had not much to show for it. Makes his presence felt into this game there. Zaro's extra point. Oh, slipped it a little bit inside that upright to the right. So it's now 28-13 New Orleans, and Green Bay has to do something to try to get the momentum back in this game. Does Favre have a comeback in it? Still plenty of time. We still have 220 left here in the third quarter. Certainly plenty of time left in the game, but you got to feel like the Packers got to get something going here, and they cough it up, and nothing is going right for Green Bay. Harris loses it. It looks like the Saints have recovered. Geno Atkins falls on it, and now New Orleans has a chance to put this game out of reach. That is just a devastating blow for Green Bay. First turnover by the Packers. Saints had turned it over once before when Breeze threw the interception. He drops back the throw here. Corner out. Inside the five, he hits Rodgers out of the backfield. That was pretty much the same route that he hit Rodgers on for the score earlier. This one doesn't get into the end zone. But it's first and goal from the Green Bay, too. It has all come unraveling for Green Bay here. Handoff. Ingram tries to dive in and he didn't get there. Ingram goes to the air and he's popped by Clay Matthews Jr. It'll be second and goal. surprisingly goes to the shotgun here from the one. Gets the snap off just in time. Short pass over the middle. Batted down. Nice play, Herb Adderley. Breeze tried to thread the needle, but nothing doing. So now it's a big third and goal situation. Basically 22 men in the box. It's a handoff. Ingram slithers in for the touchdown. Mark Ingram's second touchdown of the game. George Rogers has two as well in the Saints' multifaceted backfield. Shining through in this one. Ingram cuts it back a little bit. Ken Ellis... Looked like he slipped there trying to make the tackle, and Ingram finds his way into the end zone. And the Saints are going to have blown this one open. It is going to be 35-13, assuming the extra point. Kick is up and good. Four plays, 18 yards. The fumble kickoff by Harris proves to be Pretty devastating there for Green Bay. 22-point game. Minute left in the third. Rough minute and change for the Packers. Harris out across the 25. He holds on to this one. A little late for that. Still plenty of time. You're not going to go bombs away exactly, but Green Bay has to. I mean, I think to have any chance, you've got to get something on this drive. Honestly, it's got to be a touchdown. Now that you're at 22 points. I mean, I guess technically you've got a couple two-point conversions you can work you can work in there too, but it is a long and ugly road ahead for Green Bay here. And down inside the 22nd mark. And they're going to get called for a delay of game. 
so things go from bad to worse for Green Bay. Saints will take that. It's second and 14 for the pack from their 22. Drops back. He's looking. Still looking. Pass there incomplete. The Saints defense has done an outstanding job in this game. Aaron Jones you know, has had broken off a couple of nice runs. But other than that, and the Lofton touchdown. On the whole, the Saints have been very effective defensively. Third and 14, far throws, but it's going to be well short of the marker, and Adams is gobbled up. Good sound tackling by the Saints. That will bring the third quarter to a close, and will also end this drive for the Packers. We head to the fourth, 35-13. The Saints making a statement here at Lambeau. 179 yards on the ground for New Orleans. Three-headed monster. Fourth and six. The game wants them to go for it, but from their own thirty. I mean, that would that would legitimately end it. So we're gonna we're gonna overrule that one. I think I think we still with this much time left. <laughs> Eighty-seven yard field goal. That's funny. <laughs> the game. Yeah, I, I still think you got you got to punt it away. This is probably the last time the Packers can afford to punt, but from your own thirty here, I just don't think you're going for that. Punt there taken by Bush. Brought down at the 35. So now the Packers defense has to come through. They really need to essentially force a three and out. I know lots of things have to break right. You're the Saints. You're just hoping put a nice little drive together here. Chew up some clock. And get ready for a nice flight home. And off, Rodgers, blown up up the middle. Nick Barnett, the first guy to hit him. It's a loss of a yard. Second and 11 from the 34. Play action. Reeves is actually going to throw it. Down the field, broken up. Incomplete. Breeze 12 of 18 to this point. Roy Butler, nice job to break it up there. So now it's third and 11 for New Orleans. And Green Bay get that three and out that they need. The Saints go with a delay handoff to Rodgers, who almost picks up the first down on his own. He is stopped short, though. It'll be fourth and two, and New Orleans will punt. Try to set the Packers back. And that's clearly just the case. The Saints just wanted to chew up some more clock there. They took their pass attempt. Whittington, a terrible tackling job there, but fortunately for him, he had some backup. Cesaro will get the punt off. Green Bay will get, take it well back in their own end. A little surprise. Wow. Adderley's going to try to return it from inside the five, but he gets some room outside, out across the 25, brought down around the 30. They'll spot it at the 29. Very dangerous to return from there, but it works out for the Packers. Adderley found some room. That's a big tackle there. He could have gone the distance if he had been able to turn that corner. So Green Bay probably doesn't have the option of punting anymore, regardless of field position. So now you're going to see Brett Favre and company let it all hang out here. Favre drops back. He looks. Short pass there to Lofton, broken up. Marshawn Lattimore and this Saints defense now everybody just feeding each other at this point. 
second and 10 from the 29, Favre into the shotgun. Expect them to spend most of the rest of this game in the shotgun. Play action, pass. Down the field, oh, intended for Devontae Adams, but again, Marshawn Lattimore. Terrific play, breaks it up, and now it's third and 10. complete. That's Max McGee out across the third 45. They convert on third and 10. Move the chains and keep things alive. Desperately trying to keep hope alive here. Safety valve there, but Jones has coverage all over. Pick up of two, third catch of the game for Jones. It'll be second and eight. Our drops back. He's looking, swings it to the right hand side, incomplete, intended for Lofton. Nice job there by Paul, and it's third and eight for Green Bay. Barb drops. Looks deep down the left side. Incomplete. Broken up. Lofton tries to get past Lattimore and big drive there for Lattimore defensively. He is not allowing anything at this point. Fourth and eight. Hackers have to go for it. Four wide, Favre in the shotgun. He does have Jones next to him. Favre drops. Pressure coming. Looks. Right hand side complete. Devontae Adams along the sideline. Steps out at the 35. That's a bad give up there by New Orleans defense. Can't lose Devontae Adams there. So again, Green Bay trying to keep hope alive here. The action from far. Looks. Pass. And it's complete. That time it's Lofton down inside the five. Favre now 18 of 30. Five catches for 99 yards for Lofton. Dave Waymer with the stop. It's first and goal from the four. Beautiful throw here from Brett Favre. Lofton, there are four defenders in the vicinity, but Lofton finds a little pocket in between all those guys, and Favre is able to find them. First and goal from the four. Four receivers up top. Devontae Adams, the only one down on the south side. Favre is going to take it himself, and Favre runs it in, a quarterback draw. Favre is into the end zone for the score, and the Packers have a glimmer of hope. Favre drops, saw the gap up the middle, gets a beautiful block. <laughs> I think that's Frank Winters, but I'm not positive. But that is a beautiful cut block right there. And now, 10-24 left, it's 35-19. We'll see what the Packers do. They're going to go for two. Favre in the shotgun. And off. Jones. He's in for the two-point conversion, and we're back down to a 14-point game. Aaron Jones with the leap. He gets hit, but finds his way into the end zone anyway. Still plenty of time. 10-24 left in this game.
So now Sean Payton knows he can't take anything for granted. Brett Favre quarterbacking the other team is certainly not going to take anything for granted anyway. Here's the kickoff from Longwood. Push out across the 20. To about the 23. They'll spot at the 24, actually. And Drew Brees will get back to work. And don't think you're going to see the Saints just go and try to bleed clock here. First and 10 from the 24. Shotgun. Breeze drops back. Look. Pass there. Complete out across the 30. Eight yard pickup. Lance Moore with the reception. Out to the 32. It'll be second and two. Fifth reception of the game for Moore. Jesse Whittington with the tackle. Breeze in the shotgun. Here's the handoff to Rodgers. Rodgers spins his way through a tackle and gets the first down. Good second effort there from George Rodgers out to the 35. The chains will move, and that will give the Saints an opportunity to run some more clock. He's in the shotgun. He's throwing. Drops. Looks. Quick little... That little mesh route underneath receiver. Doesn't really yield anything. It'll be second and ten. We with basically nothing to show for it. Freeze drops. Pass complete. Little crossing route there. Quinn early. Pick up of six. Out to the 42. It'll be third and four. That's the second reception of the game for early. Approaching the eight-minute mark left in the game. Big third down here. Shotgun Breeze. Blitz is on. Breeze throws. It's knocked away. Good job by Ken Ellis. And the Saints will have to punt, and the Packers will get the ball back. Likely deep in their own zone, but they will get it back. On the angle to the side. So Adderley's going to take it. Adderley's been aggressive on the return. Takes it back out to about the 20. Certainly a better situation than had it gone out of bounds inside the 10 there. Then you don't have to play it as conservatively in protective mode, trying to protect against the safety. So first and 10 for the Packers. 8-0-1 left in the game. It's 35-21 New Orleans. Play action. Favre rolls left complete. Devontae Adams knocked out of bounds. It's a pickup of 7 out to the 27. Sixth catch of the game for Devontae Adams. James Lofton has been quiet in the second half. Play action. And there's a blitz and nobody picks up Pat Swilling, who brings Favre down. That's the fourth sack, I believe, for the Saints in this one. Second one for Swilling. And that is a big, big play. So now it's third and ten. Down inside the seven-minute mark. Barb takes the snap. He's looking. Still looking. Deep ball down the middle. Complete. He's got Adams down inside the Saints 35. Big strike from Favre to Devontae Adams down at the Saints 32. And Green Bay showing signs of life. Seven catches for 97 yards for Adams here. 
Great protection. Favre goes deep down the middle. Puts it right in there for Adams. It's actually a little bit underthrown. Adams kind of had to spin around to avoid overrunning that ball. First and 10 from the 32. Far stands in. Short pass there. He's got Jones out of the backfield. Down inside the 25. It'll be second and one. We're down inside. Six minutes left. Closing in on five and a half. Favre looks. Quick little throw there. It's Adams again. Saints got to do something about that. Devontae Adams is chewing them up in this second half. That puts him over the 100-yard mark. Inside five minutes. Favre drops. Stands in. Looking. Pass. Down inside the 10. Knocked away. Intended for Mark Tamora, I believe. But broken up. By Dave Waymer, it'll be second and ten for the pack. Second and ten from the 17. They try to mix it up with the handoff. Jones doesn't have much room there. Third and nine. Barb gets them up to the line pretty quickly. Back again. Pass. Corner route. End zone. Touchdown, Devontae Adams. Oh, my goodness. Favre to Adams all day long, at least in the second half. It's a touchdown for Adams, who has taken over this second half of this game. Brett Favre has been terrific in the second half, and the Packers are right back in it. This is a one-score game. Ending the extra point, 35-28, 4.06 left on the clock. Longwell barely gets the kick off. Eight plays, 80 yards for the Packers. Still plenty of time left. They're going to kick it deep and ask the defense to come up with a stop. Taken by Bush out across the 20. Out across the 25 to the 26. 4.02 left. 35-28. New Orleans over Green Bay. Drew Brees has to get something going again here with this Saints offense. Certainly can't criticize their effort in this game. Here you see total yards and within nine of each other. Pressure. Nitschke hammers Breeze for the sack. Ray Nitschke comes unmolested up the middle. Third sack for the Packers. It's a 10-yard loss for Breeze. As Nitschke drives Breeze into the grass. Back though spotted, I guess, at the 14 probably. Actually, they said forward progress. They spotted at the 16. Clock ticking. They go with a handoff. And that time the Packers were ready for it. And Green Bay is going to take a timeout there. Trying to maximize their opportunity. It's third and 18. Got to figure the Saints are going to have to throw the ball here. Packers know an incomplete pass keeps the clock stopped, and then they'd have three minutes left and two timeouts. Three is in the shotgun. He's got trips on the near side, a lone receiver up top. Drops back. Santana Dotson gets through, and down he goes. Down he goes. Debating whether you use the other time. We actually have the other timeout with the two minute warning. Now we're going to save the other two timeouts though. 
So Santana Dotson gets through the middle. And now the Saints will have to punt. The Packers defense comes up huge late in this fourth quarter. Morstead's going to punt. The Packers are going to get great field position. Good punt by Morstead. Taken back by Adderley at his own 39. He'll get it back across midfield, though. Oh, my goodness. Lots of room wide to the right, but Adderley is brought down. He breaks that. He's gone. Devontae Adams, nine catches, 119 yards and a score. Almost all of that coming in this fourth quarter. So now Favre down a touchdown, 223 left. In a game that seemed like the Packers were left for dead. This game was 35-13. Favre in the shotgun. Pressure coming. Tries to get rid of it and he can't. Grant brings him down. That's a huge sack. Loss of 12. Charles Grant gets to Favre. He was going to get rid of it, feared the fumble, pulled it down, and decided to take his punishment. And that is an offensive line failure right there. That should get us to the two-minute warning, and it will. Good one here in Green Bay. 35-28, New Orleans with the lead. Packers from their own 40, second and 22, two minutes left. They do have the ball. Far, looks, pass, broken up and almost picked off. So now it's third and 22. One fifty-five on the clock. Barb drops. Stands in. Pressure coming. Barb's got to get rid of that ball. Got to get rid of it. Deep down the right-hand side. It's out of bounds and incomplete. And now the ball game comes down to this. Fourth and 22. Far drops. Looks. Fires. Pass. Incomplete. It's broken up. Lattimore gets a hand on it. And the Saints bend but ultimately do not break. And the Packers. Problem, we can't get this ball back. They have two timeouts, minute 41 left. Brees goes into the shotgun here. We'll see if the Saints are really going to try to put this one away. I still think you got to play it conservatively. It is a handoff. George Rogers pulls his way ahead for the first down. That carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Down to the Green Bay 30, and that should pretty much do it. 35-28 New Orleans. Packers can only stop the clock one more time. Double tight end set here. They're not going to the knee, but you can figure they're certainly going to run it. There's Rodgers, who's gang tackled. Packers are going to burn their last time out. And it'll be second and 12. They have an inside zone there. I feel like this should be taking the knee. I don't know why it it waits it, it does get you to go to the knee but it waits a little bit longer than it should 
to get you to go to that point. There's no reason why Breeze wouldn't take the knee here, and he does. Clock will tick. It'll be third and 13. Nothing Green Bay can do about it at this point. Oh, it doesn't accelerate, right, it doesn't accelerate the clock in the last, like, two minutes. We'll let this clock tick down. So the Saints, again, had taken a 35-13 lead at one point in this game. Green Bay rallies back behind Brett Favre, but ultimately falls short. Breeze takes the knee there. You've got a six-second differential on the clock. Don't bring on the punting unit. Just because they have to run a play, it may as well. Instead of taking a chance of a field goal and getting it blocked or anything like that, especially from 51 yards. They're turning the ball over here. They'll angle this punt and try to pin the Packers deep. It'll go into the end zone, and that's fine. Two seconds left. Packers will start off from their 20. There's no mystery what's coming here. Favre will air this one out. Drops back. Only a three-man rush. Airs it out. Deep down the right-hand side. The Hail Mary is in the air. Batted down, and that's the ball game. So the New Orleans Saints come into Lambeau Field and the Packers their first loss here in year one of the Franchise Stars Football League. The Saints improve to 2-1. and one. The Packers fall to 2-1. and one. And that will conclude week three. So another 2-0 team falls. Colts still 3-0. The Bills still 3-0. The Chiefs 3-0. Actually, I haven't simmed the Chiefs game. The Chiefs game is one that will get simmed in week three. I'm not playing that one out. So we'll see about that one. But the undefeated teams starting to get a little bit fewer as the season moves on. Check out our team stats here. Total offense, 352 to 343. That 21 point third quarter for New Orleans kind of changed everything. And that all happened in the second half of that quarter. If you go to the scoring summary here, see George Rogers, first play from scrimmage for the Saints. Ran that wheel route out of the backfield, the perfect throw from Breeze. And Rogers was off to the races. Longwell with the field goal. Then Lofton had the long gain from Favre. Rodgers had a 20-yard run. Longwell kicked the field goal as time expired at halftime. Made it a 14-13 game. Nothing happened until 5-22 left in the third quarter. Danny Abramowitz ran a 22-yard run on a reverse. Then Mark Ingram went 54 yards three minutes later. And then after a fumble kickoff, Ingram ran it in from a yard out. So in four minutes and 20 seconds, the Saints put up 21 points to put Green Bay in a hole. They valiantly tried, but couldn't climb all the way out of. Brett Favre, a four-yard touchdown run. Devontae Adams, a 16-yard pass from Favre. Got Green Bay within seven, but that was as close as they'd get. Stat-wise, Favre, 23 of 40 for 302, a pair of touchdowns, no interceptions. Drew Brees, 14 of 22 for 193, modest numbers for Brees. A touchdown and a pick. On the ground, George Rogers, 17 for 103. Aaron Jones, 17 for 82 for Green Bay. He had a good 
surge there for a while, but then the Saints were able to bottle him up a bit later. Jones was averaging almost six yards a carry at one point. Receiving-wise, Devontae Adams, 9 for 119. James Lofton was the big receiver in the first half, 5 for 99. And then it became the Devontae Adams show in the second half. Lance Moore, 5 for 75. Again, Breeze, all things considered, Breeze's numbers were very modest in this one. But he'll certainly sign up for that and take the victory. Both sides with one turnover. The Harris fumble on the kickoff return for Green Bay and the interception thrown by Breeze. I'm possession 31-29 in favor of Green Bay. So that will wrap it up here from Lambeau. Greatly appreciate you guys checking in here for the Franchise Stars Football League. Check the Facebook page um, over the next couple of days, and I will let you know what three games from week four will be broadcast. And also, of course, subscribe if you have not as of yet. Kindly bang that like button if you have not as of yet. And tune in to the Franchise Stars Baseball League, which has now reached May of year three. Thanks again. Be good to each other. And we'll talk soon. The Saints take down the Packers at Lambeau 35-28.